today on Divorce Court. Some might say today's couple could be a classic case of karma. She went from side chick to wife, but now that she's got the man, she's worried she'll never have his full respect, nor the acceptance of his close-knit family. Let's see who's winning and who's striking out in this dramatic game of Family Feud. Divorce Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Amanda Martinez and Richard Linyard. The two of you have been together for six years. You have three, three children total, but you two have two together. Uh, you two are in trouble, so you have come to see me to help, help you out. So, Ms. Martinez, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and how we got here today? Okay. Um, as you said, Rich and I have known each other for a little over six years now. Um, when we started our relationship, uh, we started backwards, actually, as in I was the other woman. Oh, so um, he was seeing somebody else. Yeah. Or was he married? No, he wasn't married. Married, but, but he, he was seeing somebody else. And you were the side chick. I was. I was. And, um, I don't know, five, six months into that relationship, I found out I was pregnant with our first child. Now, let me ask you a question. I never understood side chick mentality. Yeah. So I just want to clear this up. Yeah. What makes you want to be the side chick? I mean, is it good enough? Do you think you're ultimately going to pull him? Or you're just looking for something casual? Do you have no concerns about the feelings of the other woman? Tell me about your mindset. Well, at that point in time in my life, I had been uh, divorced for a little over a year. I wasn't looking for a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd do something different and have a little fun for once, so mm -hmm. it was absolutely casual. Well, given its casual nature, how did that pregnancy thing happen? Weren't you taking <laughs> care of business? No, <laughs> we weren't. Did it not occur to you that that's what would happen? It didn't. Did, did it not occur to you that that's yeah. what would happen? It did, but I just wasn't being <laughs> smart about it, Charlie. <laughs> you got a chick on the side. Got a regular chick that you want. Wouldn't you defend that relationship by not making a baby in, uh, with the side chick? Normally, that would be the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know I, what to do. As I stated, I just wasn't thinking at the moment either, Your Honor. Okay. So what happened when you found out she was pregnant with that first one? Um, when we found out that she was pregnant with the first child, uh, she came to me and told me. Um, she told me not to worry about it at the moment and that she would get an abortion, that she would take care of it. But as we continued, um, she took... She was actually looking out for my feelings and my family when she was thinking that way and decided to do that when she approached me. But as time went on, she thought and took her own feelings into consideration, mm -hmm. which was more important, and she decided that she wanted to have the child. Right. So it took me a long time, but I waited seven months before I told anyone. In your I family? Anyone. Uh -huh. Any of my friends, any of my How family. How did your family respond? Uh, they were very shocked. Anyone that I told was very, very shocked because I... I w I'm not a cheater. I was... Typically, you're not that guy. Typically, I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I, I was in that relationship for a very long time. We, we were, you know, my previous relationship, my ex, we were, we were high school sweethearts. We mm -hmm. had been together for that long. And... Did um, they resent her because this situation arose and, 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 and ultimately destroyed your first relationship? Yes, that's how it was in the beginning. Um, my family pretty much just felt that, I mean, she's a woman. She should understand. She's, we weren't married, but, I mean, we had been together for that long. So technically, they felt like, well, he's a married man. Mm -hmm. He's in a relationship. She knew that. Why would she want to, you know, continue on? And that's, that's where the gist of it came from. And after a while, they continued to give so her So once the baby got here, how did he respond? Um, actually, uh, Richard broke things off of me when I was six months pregnant. The next time I contacted him was the day that I was in the hospital uh, giving birth, just mm -hmm. to let him know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I just gave birth to our son if you want to come and meet him. Um, to which he responded, no. Did you really do that? I did, Your Honor. It was <laughs> only because I was literally trying to save my current relationship that I was in. Um, once I, once I told her that 
uh, I had gotten another woman pregnant. I did the right thing and I tried to make it work. Given that, but... though, the, I, I, the extraordinary nature of birth, even though you were trying to make that other relationship work, you felt no obligation to support her in that, on that particular day? Um, I didn't show it. I did not. Did you feel like you should give her support? I definitely did. I definitely did. I finally broke down and decided that um, I needed to see him after he was about three months old. So once he came to you at three months, willing and able to be a father, did your, rela your romantic relationship resume? Shortly after, uh -huh. it did. Um, and pretty much almost immediately, I got pregnant again. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much felt the same way. <laughs> did you not practice, did you again not use any precautions? We did not. I don't understand. I mean, it just happened to you. you it broke up your relationship, you, did you didn't see the baby, and then you continued to do that. I um, <laughs> yeah, I was being very, very, uh, irresponsible. We both were. Okay, so so when you found out that she was pregnant again, what what were you thinking and feeling? Like, oh, this is it? We're gonna build a family, or? No, that's not how it went down. Um, it pretty <laughs> much went down the same way it did with our son. Wow. I understand that you have some significant uh, medical issues, and I want to talk about those medical issues and how you believe those issues are impacting your relationship with Mr. Linyard. I don't feel like my disability defines me. Mm -hmm. I have hopes and dreams and things that I want to accomplish with my life. Richard feels completely different when it comes to that matter. As far as I'm concerned from what she's told me, she's been able to hold the job for one full year. So, Ms. Martinez, why don't you tell me about the nature of your uh, medical issues and how you believe that has affected your relationship? Okay. Um, I have epilepsy. Mm -hmm. I've had it for a very, very long time. I don't feel like my disability defines me. Mm -hmm. I have hopes and dreams and things that I want to accomplish with my life um, that have nothing to do with my disability. However, Richard feels completely different when it comes to that matter. He doesn't want me to work or to participate in things that make me happy. Why don't you address that? Is that, is that an accurate reflection of how you feel or is it different? Given her, given the history, not only since we've been together, mm -hmm. but what she's also based off of what she's told me in the mm -hmm. past, that not for a full year, um, as far as I'm concerned from what she's told me, ever, she's been able to hold the job for one full year. So tell me where your head is with respect to where this relationship is. Maybe we sh that's the question I need answered. I definitely want to continue to be with her. I want to marry this woman. Um, I haven't proposed to her for, <laughs> for foolish reasons. I, I just want to have a nice ring for her. You know what I mean? I just, we don't, I mean, we've had moments where really? we... Really? Yeah, Is I, that I said, really the reason you haven't proposed? Come I, on now. That's really the reason, though. That's, that's She'll really... take a cigar ban. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> uh, she's <laughs> mentioned it many times, as many other women have said, just go get her a ring, Richard. Like, she'll be completely satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. And I've come to realize that I understand that now. There's been many times we've taken a vacation. I could have just took that money and went and bought her a ring. Well, you said in your paperwork that you were concerned, for instance, that if you got married, she couldn't have your back financially if, 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 if you lost your job because she can't hold a job. You did say that. That's true, but that's not the reason for not being married. Um, the fact is that uh, we have both compromised. Um, she, she tells me that I won't allow her to work or that I tell her when she can and cannot work, but that's not really the case. The case is that when she works, she eventually loses the job due mm -hmm. to her illness. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a no-brainer. It happens every single time. So what, what, based upon that history, what are you saying to her? Just don't work? Or are you just concerned about the lack of income? I'm not quite sure where that 
knowledge is leading you? I'm only concerned about the stability for our family. Um, I don't tell her that she can't work. I tell her that we should pursue as much as we can to get disability because even with disability, she oh, can still work. Oh, there it is. That's where we are. I got it. I got it. Um, so I want to talk about disability, your, your issues with it and his issues with it. And I also <laughs> want to talk about your family and how they are responding to, do, to the continued nature of this relationship. That I'm not a good mother because what time, what type of mother can have a medical condition and actually have children? I mean, that's up to me to say, not somebody else. Do you really need to have a nice ring in order to get engaged? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. Is your family supportive of your relationship with her? They are not. Tell me what they say and how that affects your relationship. <laughs> they say bluntly that if she really cared about the family not being stressed out or you not having to work all the time or she cares about her putting in her own input and being independent about what she wants to do, then that's what she would do. She would get on disability because she gets sick multiple times a year to where she's not working for months. What do you have to say about that? Do you think his family is on the disability boat and, and, and you know what I mean? As, as, as like, woo, a solid... Oh, absolutely. I've had people come through here who I think, I don't think you are, because you don't even want to get on it, who I think get on disability or something like that and use that as a means of support without really needing it. I think that happens a lot. I think some people abuse the system. Clearly, you're not looking to abuse the system. But do you think his family is looking to get that, that, that hook into the government, government coffers? I do. I feel like yeah, when it comes to his family, they feel like I should not have had these children, you know? I mean, the they trapped him, Does your family... Yeah, that's what... Just what I was about to say. Does your family feel like she trapped you? They do. They have said that in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Mm. Um, that I'm not a good mother, because what, time, what type of mother can have a medical condition and actually have children? I mean, that's up to me to say, not somebody else, you know? I, do they say that kind of nonsense? They, they did, but I they think do. it was because from maybe information she had given them and the doctors alone gave their own advice and said that because <laughs> you have this condition, it's probably not a good idea to have more children. Well, what are you doing in order to make that a reality? I have talked to my parents before about how they come, about how they come on, to, about how they relate to her. You didn't understand my question. You keep talking about your, your family as if they directing the boat. I'm, you a grown man. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I just misunderstood that's the question. That's cool. That's cool. Your but... Honor, I took that upon myself and decided after our second child, no more. I, okay. I had yeah. a surgery done. It okay, won't be cool. Any more cool. All right. <laughs> the last thing that I want to talk about with respect to your family is I understand Ms. Martinez told you that a family member touched her inappropriately. Yes. Why don't you tell me what your response to that was? Well, first of all, tell me what happened. Uh, Richard has been telling me all along to try to get a bond, try to be a little bit more understanding on where they're coming from, try to be nicer, try to be kinder. Okay, try, okay, try, okay, try. okay. And so tell me I was what over happened. there trying to do that. Tell uh, me what happened. Family member began to say very sexually explicit things to me, which was not uncommon because this has happened for years. He mm -hmm. said very vulgar, explicit things directly in front of Richard. Um, and nobody has ever mm -hmm. put this family member into their place and said, hey, don't talk to her like that. Mm -hmm. So when everyone's around and he can do it, can imagine what he does behind their backs. He tried to grope me, um, to which I obviously turned his advances down. Um, at some point in time, just decided that uh, I no longer want to have any contact Contact with, with this individual. Mr. Linyard, what did you do in response? Did she tell you about it? Yes, ma'am. Well, and she, what did you do in response? She later told me about it. She didn't tell me about it right away. And she told me about, about her uncomfortability with this family member. For years, I told Four years that. she did, but... She never mentioned anything about this family member groping her or speaking to her mm -hmm. sexually. He was just very vulgar and blunt about his opinions about things with mm -hmm. her. But when she told me, I went over there the next day 
and I approached Did he do that? He did. That's he all he can do, you know. The next day and had a conversation and basically You can't just, fix family. No, and, and and I'm not trying to. I just wanted him to stick up for me for once because it's But he like did that. though. He went he over did. there the next day. But I felt like it would not have led up to that had he said something the many, many times it has happened in front of his face. There mm -hmm. are things I mean, it, you can say, you can't say that he has never said anything wrong to me. If he's literally made comments about, oh your butt looks too big and that, oh, bring it down a little bit. Don't cut your hair, you might be ugly. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, oh, look at your body today. Now I understand why he wanted you. I mean, these is, are things is, that is, said in front of everyone. Did you tell him to cool that out? I did after a while, Your Honor. Um, there were a lot of times where she said there were things that, that the family member mentioned, and I just... I, it, I just overlooked it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not watching them when they're conversating. You know what I mean? I'm comfortable with... I was comfortable with them being having around a each other. Having I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I want to move on to uh, finances and, and future. When the side chick becomes the main chick, what's most likely to happen? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You want a ring already. I want a realistic commitment without stipulations. Can you give her that? I can. But I also feel like I, I, I want to feel like my relationship is stable. Mm -hmm. And what would make you feel like the relationship is stable? Her being on disability. <laughs> it's only, it's, it's because that's the only issue that we have. As far as my family is concerned, I've done what I can do about that. If she works and continues to work as long as she can, then it becomes an issue that she can't work anymore. She can always apply to a disability then. I don't know, understand why it's a contingency to being married. I really don't. It, 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 that's confusing me. And, and if you really loved her and you really wanted to be with her and your children, you know, marriage, stability, all of that comes. You've got that obligation anyway. You've got an obligation to support her emotionally, financially, uh, medically, because she's holding your children. So I don't understand this get on disability or we ain't getting married boat at all. Uh, disability is always available if it's needed. But if you love her, you want her to feel stable and secure. And if that's the only thing stopping you, I'm thinking like, whoa, not cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand what you're saying, Your Honor. Yeah. That's, well, that's all I can say. That, that's all I can do. I've told them how I felt about it. Um, and I know you're not gonna leave him. You love him, you got two kids with him. So I can't say step on, and he's not jerk. Not being jerk material. No, he's he, a good he had man. a little. He, he had a little tinges of jerk in the beginning, yeah. but he cleaned that up. He's a very good man. I love so, him. So, um, the issue was really that when she gets sick, she doesn't think she needs to be on disability, and that's the thing. I'm so she, very clear about the issue. Yeah. So very, very clear about it. Are you clear about what I said? I am. Yeah. Then this matter is adjourned. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to marry this man, why not just take the help? Because I feel like if he truly loves me and wants to marry me, mm -hmm. he won't give me ultimatums. Right. That's what concerns me. But don't you think this may just kind of speed up the process? If you don't need it, you can kind of push it off to the side. Just to have that there and maybe just give him a little peace of mind? M maybe. That's, I mean, that's still an option. I feel like one day I'll eventually get there. I'm just not ready yet, and it shouldn't um, be the thing that's holding us back.